<coughs> God bless you. My name is Commander CSI. Uh, they call me the Talking Spirit. And today I want to talk to us about ourselves. And I want to tell you, don't stay small in your own eye. Don't stay small in your own eye because I have been in this island for a long time and I see people that stay small in their own eye and I have a Bible passage and a story from the Bible about the children of Israel. Um, I believe that this story and what I'm about to preach to you today will make powerful meaning to you and if you can follow it i believe you are going to be great amen and amen <clears throat> now i want you to understand that when the children of israel depart and come back to moses they brought you know works to moses and show Moses the fruit of the land and everything. That is the disciples about spy. And they really confess the truth. But there is something they say. They say the people that dwell in the land is strong. We saw descendants of Ak, Amalek, and wherever the Hittites and the Jebusites dwells in the mountains and the Canaanite dwells by the sea and along the bounds of Judah. And Caleb said something, let us go up at once and take position because we are well able. But the men that gone up with him say we are not able to go up, you know, go ahead because they are strong, stronger than us. And they give a bad report to Moses, telling Moses the, ma the land is a land that devour his inhabitants. And the men in that place is men of great stature and all that. And you see, finally, they say, we are like grasshopper in their sight. Glory to God. If you read the Bible passage, I've just tried to explain to you 12 spies they send into the promised land, come back and break into two parts. And I want you to locate yourself today that you are about to view the world. There are people I call losers assembly, losers assembly with 10 powerful pastors there. And they have the other one, the winner's congregation, that have only two leaders there. We will always break into these two camps if we are leaders, but let's go to the loser's camp first. They say the land you send us to see is a good land. The way you said it is the way it is. It's a land that flows with milk and honey, but that was where it ended in a positive note okay and the members of the losers congregation usually are the people that i have called that have mental asset if you try a little bit you can persuade them to agree that life could be better you could be able to persuade them that it could be possible for you to be blessed and to be rich. If you persuade them a little, they could be able to persuade them. Then, but they believe it can be for other people, but not for them. And they say, the land flow with milk and honey and we brought some fruit to show you. And they have other people's testimony to share, but they find it difficult to so, you know, connect themselves to that testimony and see it fulfilled in their life. They told Moses, we went to the land you send us, it truly, you know, flow with milk and honey. Nevertheless, whenever you are going on a positive note and you put the word, but you puncture the balloon of faith and you're on your way down. They say, but it is good, but, 
we have I've been saying this for a long time. Well, well, but well, we can well, but well, but once you put but in your sentence, that is the end of the road. They say nevertheless, nevertheless, the people that dwell in the land are strong. The cities are fortified and very large. But moreover, we saw this descendant of the Anna there. What are they trying to tell Moses? They are too much for us. We can't make it. We can't do it. The situation is overwhelming. Do, do you know? Do you see it the way they, they, the Amorite dwells here? The Gananites dwell here? They are long. What are they trying to say? There are obstacles. Obstacles to the right, left, front and back that is what they are trying to say everywhere they look they see problem that is a no another characteristic of a loser's congregation they see the they see always the problem they see the problem being overwhelmed they see problem everywhere and instead of them finding just one reason why it will work they give you 100 years reasons why it will not work because what you look for is what you find if you don't know what you are looking for if you find it you will not recognize it do you know why they find out what they are looking for because they are always looking for problem some people that you are sharing your vision and your plans they will give you reasons why you will not be able to succeed move out from those people because they will not be able listen to me they are not going in the same direction but a man called caleb said let's go at once and take possession we are well able but i'm still coming back to him in verse 31 the members of losers congregation losers assembly say no way we are not able to go to them because they are stronger than we now i want you to help to tell people around you and tell your neighbor, don't be small into your own eye. Anything you cannot overcome in the inside, you can overcome it in the outside. So far, you discover that the economic situation of the country is too much and all that. You can overcome it. These people are stronger than we are. Some people insist that they are born again. They insist that is a generational cause that is giving them problem. They insist that the problem they have is demonic. But I want to let some people know that generational cause may not be some of the people's problem. It's generational ignorance. Galatians 3.13 says something. Christ has redeemed us. Not we redeem us. He has redeemed us. He didn't say he will be able. It has redeemed us already. It's a past tense. It's a past tense. Christ have redeemed us from the cause of the law, being made the cause for us, because he's been written cause, he's been made for the man that's hang on the tree, that the blessing of Abraham will be raised upon the Gentiles. Are you not reading those scriptures? When did he redeem us? 2,000 years ago. So don't allow generational ignorance <clears throat> to keep you where you are. I've seen a lot of people in this island. What they have is generational ignorance. Romans chapter 8, verse 1 and 8. There, there is therefore now no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. You need to understand there is no condemnation. So until you know this, you will not have peace. It's only when you know this, you will not have peace. Don't allow the loser's congregation to destroy you. You know, strive for success. Strive for open doors. Strive to possess your position. Sometimes people don't want to hear the truth, but the Bible says you will know the truth and the truth shall set you free. But unfortunately, a lot of people don't want to believe the truth, but some people believe that you have to really struggle for you to make it. Some people believe that I need to fast and pray before I make it. Jesus said, if thou wouldest believe, thou wouldest see the glory of God. Glory to God. God, not when you somersault, if you and start doing gym, spiritual gymnastics, if thou believe, you will see the signs that, that will follow them that believe. 
It's them that believe. I want you to believe you will make it. Believe you will succeed. Believe you will succeed. If you believe you are caused, you are caused. If you believe you are dead, you are dead. That is why these same people will, will want you to lay hand on you so that you continue vomiting saliva. They lay hand on you today, you vomit saliva. They lay hand on you tomorrow, you vomit saliva. You vomit, continue, you continue vomiting saliva for five years. It's only the truth you know that will set you free. And I'm giving you this truth right now. I want you to remove generational ignorance. Glory to God. I may be very young, but there is something I know that you don't know. Gali Bades Kadis. And I want you to know that it's just like in your house. It's just like in your house. You don't need to, you know, pray and 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 bind and light come. No, you have to put the switch on. So you need to kill the generational ignorance for you to possess your possession. If not, you'll be struggling with darkness. Until you put the switch on. Put the switch on so that the light will come. Don't be, don't be saying darkness, I bind you, or the principle, come on. Those things is ignorant. Go and put a natural light to have like now. If powerful light can, if powerful light, if if a physical life can handle. A physical darkness. A spiritual light can handle a spiritual darkness. You don't need to struggle on it. That's just what I want to tell you. Don't stop looking down on yourself because the entrance of God's word giveth light. The Bible says, Your word is a lamp unto my feet, and a lamp, I, 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 your word is a, a, a lamp unto my feet. The way Christians talk about demons sometimes is witches. Is wizard, is demonic. I want you to know that no witch is capable of harassing you as a Christian until you know yourself. There is nothing long, wrong to go to a prophet to know the origin of your problem. There is no problem. But when you go to a prophet and they begin to change your 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 mindset because if you don't want to change your mindset you will remain where you are and meet all these people that don't know where they are they will create an enemy between you and your mother you and your sisters because the real enemy they will not see it they will begin to create an enemy between you and the people around you i have seen a lot of people like that in this place you can never dominate somebody that have discovered the truth. I want you to discover the truth right now. And the truth you discover will set you free. Don't be small in your own eye. They say the people are stronger than we. Verse 32. The, 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 the verse 32 say they gave the children of Israel bad report about the land they have aspired. They say the land is the land that devoured. His inhabitants, we saw giants. Nonsense. The devil is not as big as you as he pretend to be. He's a finished foe. Two thousand years ago, he was paralyzed, perplexed, removed. All the joints of his body were removed. He was he was dislocated. He was knocked out and knocked down on our behalf. We just need to come and minister the victory. He gave us in understanding. Verse thirty three. There we saw the giants. The descendants of Anak that come from the giant. And we were like grasshoppers in our own sight. Can you imagine that? Don't be small. And so we were in their sight. They compared themselves and them. The way they said it, they were so deliberate about the way they said it. They say, they, they say we are like grasshoppers in, in, in their, we are like grasshoppers in their eyes and they too are seeing us as small as we see them. Listen, what you call yourself is what they call you. Whatever thing you call, whatever thing you are selling is what they will call it. What you call your dog is what your dog answers. 
you know, when you are talking sometime and you say to yourself, this small boy, what are they doing with us, the masses? They are really, they are, they are just treat, treating us the common men of this country. When you call yourself a common man of this great island, you become a common man. And I want to advise you, wherever place you are, they, they say we are like grasshopper. Grasshopper takes small, small leaves. How can you see them as giant and see yourself as a grasshopper? You see them as millionaire and see yourself as a poor person? This is my challenge this hour. You are capable of more than what you think you are capable of. God is no respecter of persons. Oh my God, he's no respecter of persons. Have you noticed that those that go around town successful, did they have two heads? The earlier you tell yourself, I can make it the better for you. That is when the journey begins. That is when the journey started. And I thank God for the privilege of God helping me to walk around great people. And that helped my life. Don't be intimidated and be overwhelmed by people's success, challenges. <clears throat> Some people always have a lot of proverbs to excuse themselves from success. You have to be very careful. They say, sometimes you say, well, God, God help me. I will do it. God help. God will help you. God is ready to help you. If God help him to succeed, that same God will help you to succeed. God is no respecter of persons. We will grasp up us in our own eyes. Don't ever measure yourself. Don't ever measure your people, yourself. Measure God with your circumstances, not human being. Measure God. <clears throat> Let me stop by saying this. Maybe tomorrow I will continue with, with part B of this message. But there is a young boy that uh, I always use. Uh, uh, you know, when you always put this jump and always, I was watching it on social media and this man is putting up you know, grazing the bar gradually, gradually, and some people will run and get there. They will gauge it and gauge it and go back. Some go again and go and measure it and measure their height and go back. Sometimes some of them go and go under it. But until you try to lift yourself, almost breakthrough. A lot of people are almost breakthrough. When I watch that on social media, I discovered that some people will run close to, to, to jump and they discover the bar. They say, no, 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 I can't jump. They go over. And a young boy say, I believe I can go over, but how will I go over? And the man said to him, my boy, when you get there, throw your heart over the bar and your body will follow you. And this coach was teaching this young man a lesson. If you can't go over it inside, you can't go over it outside. Whatsoever thing that is too big for you to handle inside will be too big for you to handle outside. They say one million dollars. You say, oh my God. Because until it becomes normal in your mind, one million should become normal in your mind. Then you can get it. But if it's, oh my God, oh my God, you can't get it. You will end up in that your $5,000. There are people, if they see $1 million today, they will die. They will just die because they will just die. But there are people that that doesn't mean, mean anything to them. I pray that God will help you to become uh, strong, 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 strong in your own eyes. I, would, I have to tell you this. I was watching some skit in the social media and I see people that went for robbery in the bank. And as they went to bank to rob, and as soon as the man entered and see the money in the bank, he fainted. 
Because the armed robber have never seen such money again in his life. He have never seen such money. He fainted. So, <laughs> and, and I started laughing. Why? Because he have never been able to handle it in his heart. Don't see yourself as a grasshopper. There is greater inside of you than he that is outside. I want you to help yourself, tell yourself, I can make it. If anybody have ever made it before in ministry, in life, I can make it. If anybody have ever succeeded, I will succeed. The reason why some people struggle perpetually, because in their mind, they believe they can never just break through from that struggle. They believe in their mind. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. A lot of people will continue to look for breakthrough, looking for success, looking. No, you need to get it in your mind and you get it physically. I prophesy to you right now, hearing the sound of my, my voice, that if Jesus have succeeded 2,000 years ago, you will succeed. Glory to God. And I want you to know that never you think you are small in your eye. Now, let's go to the other church where I belong to. I belong to. I don't know about you. Now, this is the winner's chapel. That is Caleb. He quiet the people and said, let us go at once. Let us go at once. That is Caleb saying, let us go there at once. That is a winning chapel. What's everything you are planning to do, do it now? Don't wait till tomorrow. Don't wait till tomorrow. There are people this time last year, they are planning to. They are planning to. They are planning to. This is 2000 and they are planning to. This is, they are still planning to. Why will you continue to plan to? Move at once. Take what belongs to you. We are more than conqueror. We are more than conqueror. And I want you to know that you don't need to continue to plan to. Go at once. Take what belongs to you. Some people are planning to open a church. They are planning. They are planning. They are planning. They are planning to buy a car. They are planning to own a house. They are planning. Since three years, you have been planning. Because you are not in the winning chapel. What use is the aiming if you don't know how to pull the trigger? You can't continue aiming if you don't know how to pull the trigger. You are aiming, 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 aiming. You are aiming. Pull the trigger, you can pull the trigger. What, what essence? Many people have been aiming from January till now, but they cannot pull the trigger. I want you to pull that trigger. Some people may be saying, if I shoot that and I miss, what of if I miss? What? Shoot first. There is no harm in trial. Aim. Aim if you don't know how to pull the trigger. It's useless. That is why my grandmother said to me, strike when the iron is hot. And it's a normal proverb. Whatever thing you are planning to do in the future, do it now. This is the future you know. Tomorrow is the, tomorrow, today is tomorrow you speak about yesterday. Tomorrow, 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 in the future, in the future. Tomorrow is not far away. What confuses people when tomorrow arrives? His name is not tomorrow. You call it today. When tomorrow arrives, you say, to, you call it today. Because every time tomorrow arrives, you call it today. Strike when the iron is hot. Take a bold step. Take a giant step. The greater the risks you take, the greater the reward. The greater the result. Start. Start out. Don't allow the devil to persuade you that you don't have what it takes. God will never give you dreams. He doesn't give you the capacity to achieve those dreams. Take a bold step. Take a giant step. Dear something you have never dear before. Within the content of the vision that God has shown you. The moment God said it to you or showed it to you. Or created in the realm of the spirit for you. And he's waiting for you to be, you will be bold enough to dare it. Launch out into the deep immediately. Break free from the mentality of failure. You tried before, it didn't work. So what? Try again, you are closer to the result. You are closer to the result than when you started. Have a positive attitude towards failure. 
If you have a library of success and have books of success and you don't have a book of failure, your library of success is not complete. So, because success grows out of failure. You have to know how to handle failure because you can, before you can know how to handle success. Failure is not fate. I know the feeling of rejection. I know the feeling of failure. And that is when, when I strive for success, I don't look back. Glory to God. I try, I have a lot of respect for people that tried. And, I, 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 and, and moreover, I have people, I have more respect of people that try the first time, second time, third time, than people that sit down and, 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 and sitting down to your road, you know, <clears throat> they are succeeding on people. They are, they are not respecting do, those that tried. <coughs> In Trinidad, I see a lot of people that study business at me and people that they cannot do anything physically. I want you to know that if God has said it, he will not lie. We sing in the church, Abraham blessings are mine. Abraham blessings are mine. Do you know that song? Abraham blessings are mine. Abraham blessings are mine. I am blessed in the morning. I am blessed in the evening. Abraham blessings are mine. We sing those songs. And, and we now come, maybe when, when offering, we, we fold one dollar so and dump it inside the offering bucket. And you are waiting for Abraham's blessing. Abraham didn't get it like that. That is not Abraham getting. Go say to Abraham, get out of your country. And go to a land I will show you. He take a bold risk. Let go. Let go of the present so that you can get rid of the future. I'm telling you, it is risky not to take a risk. I repeat, it is risky not to take a risk. Walk into the unknown. I left Africa. I walk into the unknown. Look at me today in this sweet island. There's something big, my brother. There's something big, my sister. In the next one year, you become the kind of person you, you, will, you, have, never be, you have never dreamed to be. You will get results that you have never dreamed of getting before. If you believe it, I want you to call me on this number, 7 plus, you know, uh, 4706444. Some people say, don't bite more than you can chew. Bite more than you can chew. And God will help you chew it. Don't bite more than you can chew. Bite it. God will help you chew it. Glory to God. As I always say, there are some people that are always comfortable in uncomfortable situation. I want to, I want to start a small thing here, a small thing. Why must you be starting small thing, small thing? Think, small risk, small result, big risk, big result. This story is written in the Bible. There are great stories in the Bible. Where, where are they recorded there? David and Goliath, because they are inspiring. Instead of you to read an inspiring story that will inspire you, teach your children about that. You are teaching them about Prince Charming coming from a far country. And your, and your girl child is waiting for Prince Charming. You don't know how to tell them the story of Deborah. You don't know how to tell them the story of Deborah. Soldiers, women that we say we are well able, just like Joshua. I want you to be in the winning company. I want you to be in the winning chapel. There are some books I, re I read and I begin to say to myself, I can make it. There are books you read, it will in put something in you and you will live from being a local champion to a world champion. <clears throat> Try not to look like the way people look at you. Look the way God look at you. And I want you to take note of this. The difference between losers and winners is what they say. You will never arise above the level of your confession. We are like grasshopper in our own eyes. And so we were in there. We are there. <coughs> they are stronger than we. But there is a man that says we are well able 
Let's go at once. I want you to go at once and take what belongs to you. In Numbers chapter 14, when these people have spoken, that is the leadership, all the congregation lifted their, congr their voice and cried. They make people cry all night weeping by the congregation of losers. In verse 2, they said, um, all the children of Israel start com complaining. There are people you have around you that will make you think that God is not faithful. The people, as they begin to cry and say, it's better for us to return to Egypt. They say to themselves, let us select a leader and return to Egypt. Look at them. Let us select a leader and return. They are not even thinking about selecting a leader that can lead them. They decided to select a leader. Many people that have come around me belong to Loser's congregation. They always want to gather and select a leader of losers, and then all of them will lose. When everybody's supposed to move forward, you are moving backward. They say, let's go back. Do you know, <clears throat> that is how some people perceive the, the future. They begin to admire the past in the good old days. In the good old days. In, in this island, they always say in the good old days. What about these days? They believed... Good, good old days, good old days, good, good old days. Do you know that there are some country in the olden days could not raise millionaires, but today more millionaires are there. In those days, the land was twenty dollar. They can buy it, but today land is three hundred dollars, three thousand, two thousand, one thousand, five hundred dollars. They are buying it. One million dollar. They are buying it. Piece of land. But in those days, piece of land may be like, you know, $100. They couldn't buy it. Call my phone. Call my phone. 470-6444. Ecclesiastes said, don't say why are the former days better than this day. I want to tell you that the church in this island have never seen a prosperous Christians than this. But the problem is that we have losers' mentality. They say, let's go back to Egypt. Egypt, where they are living in bondage, where they are sleeping in slum, Egypt, where they are slaves, Egypt, where the tax master go, they whip over their back because they were afraid to confront challenges. They decided to go back in the city of slavery. What is good about slavery? I tell people, I, I would rather die in faith than to live a coward, than to live like a coward. I can't live a life less than what it is designed to be. I cannot. I have to get the best that God has to offer. I got to get the best that God has to offer. <laughs> I have to get the best. They say, let us go back to Egypt. Are you still living in yesterday? Some people are driving. They want to drive into the future, but they are beginning to look into the rear mirror. Have you ever seen any person driving on a high speed, 100 kilometers per hour, and it's instead of him to look straight, and he's looking at the rear view of the mirror? That is an accident going somewhere to happen. That is an accident going somewhere to happen. When you are driving 240, driving 120, 130, getting to 160 and you are looking at the side mirror. The past is past. The past is a spend check. Let go of the past. Lay hold of the future. The best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. I have to tell you this. There are people that say, mm, in those days when I used to have money, hush, what happened to this day? Money is coming back to you. Just have a winner's mentality. In those days, in those days, what are you doing now? In those days, there are still miracles around. New things are happening. <clears throat> Let us go up at once. 
let us go at once in verse 6 of that chapter. Joshua, the son of Nun, we are among those that go to spy the land. He spoke to all the congregation and said to them, the land we pass through to spy is exceedingly good land. If the Lord delights in us, he will bring us to this land. He will give it to us. The land flow with milk and honey. Only do not rebel against the Lord, nor fear the people of the land, because they are our bread. Their protection have departed from them, and the Lord lives with us. Do not fear them. And all the congregation say, stone them. Do you know that when you are prophesying positive, people want to kill you. Your success intimidate them. When we come into this country, our success intimidate them. When you begin to talk about your dream, what you want to do and all that, some people around you will become uncomfortable. They become insecure. Because if you dare achieve those things you want to achieve, it is going to be, it will look as if other people are not making progress. <clears throat> Joseph said, I have a dream in the Bible. They get angry. Instead of them to say, God, I give Joseph a dream, give him my own. They decided to kill his own. That is what people are doing. When they know what you're about to get, they will decide to kill you. <clears throat> eleven son, Joseph, eleven son of Jacob. Joseph have a dream. Instead of them to say, give me my own dream, Lord, they want to kill him. You can't kill a man that has dreams, especially dreams from God. Because God is not a man that will lie or son of man that will repent. If he say it, he will do it. Get ready. He says, St stone them. But what did they say? They say we are able. These people say their defense have departed from them. He says, stone them. Do you know what they were expecting? God, kill all the giants and allow Israel to whoop him. That is the kind of breakthrough that many of you want. Now, you don't know that we are leaving Aruka, we are going to Balataria. A lot of people have decided to, their spirit have was cold. They don't want to be forefront. They don't want to be there. But listen, we are more than able to take Balataria. We are more than able to take Balataria. We are more than able to take Balataria, I tell you the truth. Some people just want to walk into food is ready. Oh my God. Oh my God. They just want to walk in. Where is I receive it? Hallelujah. Mm. How you I receive it? Shaking yourself. Now, breakthrough. After receiving in breakthrough, you need to walk out your salvation with fear and trembling. You cannot stroll into a gold. You cannot even be fulfilled with that kind of success. Victory is no victory where there are no battles. God told Israel, I finished the giants on your behalf. But when they go there, they saw giants. You make as if, as if God is lying. But God was not lying. Spiritually, the giants are finished. But they, physically, God left the giants there. So that his sons will also see it. And see the victory. And have the victory. Have the you know, the, 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 the sweetness of fighting. The giants are not the symbol, the symbol of your funeral. The giants are simple, a symbol of samples of welcoming you into the land, flowing with milk and honey. Have you ever wondered about it? One which is a thousand and two, ten thousand. Have you ever wondered about it? How is it going to happen? Even if you're Superman, have you ever wondered it? Spiritually, even if you're Bruce Lee, you can never chase a thousand. I know all the karate job. Him, chum, chu, chi. You can spin in the air and clear three people in the air. But when they are 1,000, it's not a joke. It's not a joke, I'm telling you. It's not a joke. Right? My brother, I want to let you know that you have already conquered before you started. Caleb said their defense have departed from them until you see it. 
that something has happened spiritually, you will not be able to enter into the physical. I want you to know that God is with you. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. When you enter into the will of God, where people defense have been fall down, one sword can take down 500. In a single battle, you can finish them. It's not as difficult as you think. Don't see yourself as a grasshopper again. Because a lot of things have happened in the spirit of, on your behalf, waiting for your action. Me, a lot of things have happened in the realm of the spirit, waiting for my action. God cannot do what I can do for myself. <clears throat> All you need to do is to move and possess your possession. Possess your possession. Glory to God. And I want you to pray this prayer. Pray this prayer with me. Father, give me the land that you have for me. Let me tell you something that happened to me years back. I have a vision of one of the islands to take it. But anytime I go to this island to have any type of crusade, whenever I'm in a vision, I see thousands in that island. But when I go physically to have a crusade, I'll get only 50, let us 100. But I wasn't discouraged. I go to God in prayer, and God answered my prayer. And I'm still praying. I'm still praying. I'm still praying because he said, I will give you the land. I can't keep talking to, to 10 people, 20, 30 people. So I have to talk to thousands to reach out to thousands. I want to let you know that God is about to do something in your life. Glory to God. And I want you to call my number, please. Whatever place you are, call my number, uh, 470-6444, and I will begin to speak to God on your behalf. Call me anytime, any day. Don't see yourself as grasshopper. You will never remain the same. After this meeting, you will succeed. My name is Commander CSI. They call me the talking spirit. And I want to let you know that we are in Caribbean, in Trinidad. We are in Guyana. And we are about to take other parts of the world. So I want you to be my guest anytime, any day. Always, you know, uh, come into this, uh, subscribe to our channel. So whenever I drop any kind of uh, message, you will be notified. And also share it to your platforms and anybody and just let them know that God is about to do a new thing. God bless you really good. Once again, my name is Commander CSI. They call me the talking spirit. Shalom.